On, on your first questions, which has to do with uh, whether or not uh, we include uh, junk bonds, as you call them, in our uh, purchase policies, um, we have defined uh, parameters for our purchases. Uh, we want to insulate the way we conduct policy from the effect of the pandemic and avoid self-fulfilling procyclicality. So we will continue to observe the situation and take appropriate and proportionate action. Aside from that, we, the Governing Council has not discussed uh, this matter. On your second point, uh, which has to do with the, uh, the Karlsruhe uh, Court decision, I just want to remind you that uh, the ECB is subject to the jurisdiction of the Court of Justice of the European Union. The PSPP has been judged by the uh, Court of Justice of the European Union as, I quote, in line with our policy mandate. We have indeed taken note of the judgment which is directed at the German government and at the German parliament, and we are confident that a good solution will be found, a good solution that will not compromise the ECB's independence, will not compromise the primacy of the European Union law or the ruling of the European Court of Justice. You follow what we do. Uh, the ECB Governing Council regularly assesses the effectiveness, the efficiency, and the cost-benefit of its monetary policy measures. It does so on a regular basis, and as you can imagine, given the package that we have debated and eventually discussed and agreed upon, this has been the case in great depth uh, during the course of our morning session. It is typically reflected in our accounts, and uh, it will indeed be reflected in our accounts as well. Thank you.